Hello, Graph Fanatics! Imagine this. You are using this fantastic Grafana dashboard to monitor utilization metrics in your servers. That is great! You can visualize now how each one of your servers is doing. But what if you have several servers? Creating a new dashboard for each or modifying each and switching among dashboards would be kind of a hassle, isn't it? Wouldn't it be easier to just switch the server name or the IP address on the same dashboard? Well, for that type of problem, Grafana variables come in handy. Stick around to level up your dashboard game with variables. So, uh, what exactly are Grafana variables? Well, variables are like magical switches that transform static dashboards into dynamic, interactive ones so that you can change the displayed elements in a single dashboard. That means that you can create switchable elements in your dashboards which, once interacted, changed, typed or modified, can update and affect any panel or element in that dashboard. This can also be super useful if you don't want to modify your dashboards frequently or give your users permissions to change your panels. Now, Grafana offers different variable types to suit your needs. From dropdowns to queries and constants, each type serves a specific purpose and you can add as many as you need. Let's take a closer look at the available types of variables. Query variables bring in dynamic data from your data sources. They fetch the data from a data source query and fill in the values to be chosen in your dashboard. Custom variables allow you to define the variable options manually using a comma-separated list. It is something like a hard-coded drop-down list. Text box variables allow users to input custom values, adding a layer of personalization to your dashboards, letting your users type whatever they need. A constant is just a value that you can define, but it is hidden. This is useful if it is something that you will change here and there as an admin on the back of your dashboard. Data source variables enable dynamic switching between different data sources, giving you the flexibility to switch among different sources. Interval variables allow you to control the time granularity of your data, offering a seamless way to modify time spans. It's not related to the main time selector, it is more just like your own special time selector inside of this. Ad hoc filters add key and value filters for a specified data source. It is like having a dynamic filter in the data from a data source. Unlike other variables, they are not used in queries, they build queries. Global variables are already available in any dashboard. They may be different from the variables that we have been talking about here as they are not changeable. Think of them as environment variables that you can use in your queries. They are a topic on themselves. So for more information on the list of global variables, click on the link in the corner. Chain variables are fascinating. Think of them as some sort of nested functions. Whatever you select on the first one affects the next one and so on. As an example, they are useful when you want to select a data center before you select the server that is inside of that data center. They are linked. Now, you may be thinking, these variables are so awesome, but how can I create them to start dynamizing and switching my dashboards? Well, adding a variable to your dashboard is super easy. Open or create the dashboard to which you want to add the variable. Then, click on the gear at the top to enter the dashboard's settings. Once in the settings, click on the variables section. There, click on the add variable button. Once in the variable section, we will fill in the required fields and select the needed drop boxes. Here is where you can choose the type of variable that you want to create. 
You can also define its name or if you want any label displayed next to it and any other details. Keep an eye out for configuration options for each variable type, as depending on the type, you can set defaults, define queries, and customize how these variables interact with your dashboard. Once everything is filled, click on Apply, and you will be redirected to a list of all the created variables. You can repeat the steps to add as many variables as needed. Then, click on the upper Save button to save the changes, and then return to the dashboard to see your brand new variable or variables. After the variable is created, just reference it by its name in your queries or elements. Ok, let's do a quick example. Imagine that you have different elements that you want to display data on. Let's say the tickers of your favorite stock market tech companies. Not all of them, but only our favorites. So for this, we will create a custom variable. Let's name it tickers and then type the same name as its displayed label. In the description, we can just type my fang tickers. Then we will list them. Facebook, now Meta, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google, all separated by commas. Since we want to select only one at a time, we won't mark anything else and just save this. And there it is, our new ticker selection custom variable for our dashboard. You can later add the variable name in your queries to affect as many elements as you like with that variable. And there you have it, Grafana variables unlocking a new level of dashboard interactivity. No more struggles, just seamless dynamism. Now go ahead and play with variables in your own dashboards. And if you have questions or suggestions about variables or any requests for future episode topics, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more Grafana goodness, and stay tuned for the next Grafana video. Happy dashboarding and have a good one!